even now. Peace will be upon you and you. As I saved you, you saved me. Shrine otetaan tästä näin, niin pystyy teleporttaamaan sitten myöhemmin, myöhemmin tänne. Ja tässä oli tää questi, mikä piti Oho. hoitaa. What are you doing all the way out here? If you don't mind, I'm actually running for my life at the moment. So if you could let me get back to that, I'd appreciate it. What? The Dramora actually asked for help? Bah! I'll never understand the grasp. All right, before you do anything hasty, at least let me explain. He's so bad He's a big misunderstanding. All right, guess it's not. You've got a good reason, I swear. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hold on, it's not safe here. Please, find my two friends and send them to the portal to Fargrave. It's where we plan to meet if we got separated. Once we're together, I'll tell you the whole story. You can decide what to do with us from there. Many thanks. Their names are Eliza and Minwaleth. We all split up once we got here, but they shouldn't be far. I'll head to the portal now. I promise I'll explain everything once those two are safe. Okei, tuossa on bossitappelu. Täällä, täällä voi kalastaa niinku. Fall Fishing Hole. No niinpä tietysti. Ja täällä onkin muita pelaajia odottelemassa. Menee yleensä ehkä maksimissaan viisi minuuttia. My favorite. Ah, Miri huomasto. Epäkuullut kuollut koira. Griffoni, pentu. Eli Arni Kotka. Mutta kohan kiloa päivässä tois vielä raakaa lihaa. Ja kuinka isoksi se kasvaa. Tässä on niin hirveellä ja noita pelaajia, niin ei enää näillä ole mitään tota noin, niin jakoo. Laulut ja taas. I don't know who you are, 
but I hope you make it out of here too. Se on aina näissä, näissä niin kuin laukastaan uusi lisäosa, niin täällä on niin moni pelaaja tappamassa näitä pomoja, niin ne vaan kuolee niin kuin sillä lailla sekunnissa. Stay back. Please, don't come any closer. I don't have the strength to fight you or any money to give you, but please, I beg. You saw Bach? Is he safe? He must be if he told you to come find me. I'm not sure why you're helping us, but I don't care. Thank you, stranger. What about Minvala? Please tell me, gods, no. This is all my fault. She only went along with the plan for my sake. I got the drain and now she's dead because of it. Okay, she lost that's her that's life trying to save mine. It's not fair. I need to see Puck. Please, where is he? Then I'll make my way there. Thank you, stranger. You can't know what this means to me. This is my fault. If it wasn't for me, we wouldn't be in this mess. Don't lie. I thought you'd turn right back around to Fargrave and give us up to the grass. Thanks for coming to hear us out. I'm glad Eliza's here, but what about Minwaleth? Did you find her? Damn. I feared as much. I should have been more careful. The three of us have been stealing things since we were young, and we always managed to come out on the other side just fine. But I was just so scared for Eliza. I wasn't thinking straight. Exactly. Then we ran here to escape punishment, but punishment is all we found in this wasteland. Well, if we stay up here, we'll end up like Minwala. But if we go back, it's whatever the Grasp considers justice. And for Eliza, the drain. I guess that's up to you, isn't it? You hold our fate in your hands. You are decent enough to hear us out. So we'll comply with whatever you decide. Besides, it's my decisions that got us all into this mess. I shouldn't be making any more. Hmm. Are you sure about this, Bach? Are we really going to turn ourselves over to the grass? The only thing I'm sure of is if we stay, we'll end up like Minwaleth. Come on, let's go. Tässä voi valita valita aika usein miten nää tehtävät tehtävät päättyy. Hyvin laadukasta ääni näytelty täysin. Tribunal, my grandmother, and the hero of Mournhold are counting on me. So why am I pacing out here like a flathead? Yeah. You're a swit, Selveni. You just have to power magic rocks made by a living god, find some spirits, free them, oh, and leave the Force Martyr's folly without the only pimpelin. It'll be no beast to get that. Um, ah, yes. I do that. I wasn't expecting anyone. Oh. Lord Sofa Seal. I'm doing what the tribunal asked. I have the three mother stones, and I know where the energy fonts are. I'll free the spirits from the Force Martyr's folly, I swear. No? Oh, you're in disguise. I'm glad you're here. Saving Ordinator Nilera and Grandmother Priest Sylvisa's spirits from Merun's day. Ah, can't okay. Do that alone. But I can give you tribute, um, payment for the help of an adventurer. Okay, eli, eli niin kuin niiden, ne on kuollut äh, Oblivionissa. Niiden sielut on jäänyt Oblivioniin ja tää yrittää vapauttaa ne. Eli niin kuin ordinaattori ja... Papitar, Papitar on itse asiassa kuollut tänne. Thank the three. I have the mother stones I got from Amalexia's priest. 
Though we do still need to attune them with the energy fonts inside, but with your help, we'll free Nilera and Sylvisa's spirits in no time. Now, to enter the folly. Is this a test? Are you checking if I know who I'll use the Mother Stones on? <laughs> they both died years ago. They protected the temple Aww. from Nerun's Dagon when he decimated Mournhold. I was there, hiding under a table. That was a day I won't forget. Hetkinen. Siitä on... Siitä on 583 vuotta. Okei, okay, aika kulkee Oblivionissa vähän eri tavalla kuin tuolla noin niin normaali maailmassa. <laughs> I did it here. Mehrun was taken again a few years ago. The decimation of Mournhold? No, no. 2920, uh. the end of the first era? My lord, is there something terribly wrong with you? You. You. Where did you go to that one? 600? No, this is a test. Alma Lexia's priest gave me the Mother Stones only a few weeks ago. I know how long I've been standing outside the folly. Mayrun's Dagon's realm can't hold me captive, not like the spirits. Tämä mielenkiintoista palataan tähän vanhaan juttuun tosiaan. You might have missed the explanation. You are busy. I got the Mother Stones from a priest of Amalexia. She said that the Lady of Mercy created them. Once we attune them to the energy of the Sever, these stones will take her children home. They won't work properly unless they're attuned. Right now, the stones couldn't return me to Morrowind. They need a lot of power to save Ordinator Nalera and Grandmother Savisa. I mean, they're both dead and they've been trapped here for years. I asked about that in Wretched Spire. There are these energy fonts that should be just the things we need. No one in Wretched Spire could really tell me where the fonts were, but given the name, I think they won't be too hard to find. Well, have you looked into the folly? Lightning strikes happen all the time. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've always seen lightning strike the most in areas of high energy. If we follow the storms, we should find the fonts. They were both incredible women, heroes in their own right, who stood in the face of a great threat. I... I really look up to them both. I mean, one is possibly the greatest ordinator to ever serve the tribunal, and the other is my grandmother. She was protecting the temple from Merun's Dagon's attack a few years ago. I remember hearing her call him a Sar Shaman Fetcher. It was the most heroic thing I've ever heard. I cried when her screams stopped. My lord, forgive me. Have you been drinking grief? Any dark elf knows who they are. They're the guards of the tribunal temples. Warriors who serve you and all the living gods throughout Morrowind. I wanted to be one of them. We were visiting her at the temple on the day of the attack a few years ago. When Nalera died, Savisa rushed outside to take up her sword. She wasn't a warrior, but she managed to keep the horde from reaching the doors. Maybe to gloat over them or use them as a warning to others. I'm not sure which. Either way, an entire garden filled with living statues of people I knew makes my skin crawl. All I know is that most of the statues here are from the time when Dagon attacked Mournhold. They're just on display here. The Fallen. On display for all Daedra to see. Oh, I might lose my nerve again. Now that that's done, um, my lord, can I have a word? Yeah. I don't want to tell you what to do, but please be careful with those stones. They look erratic. You may be the magician, but for someone like me, holding onto erratic power seems unwise. Oh, right, you're in disguise. <laughs> Sorry. Your disguise isn't bad. In fact, it's flawless. You look nothing like yourself, but no one else knew I was here. So when you appeared, I could just okay, tell who you were. Le... I hope that's all right. Lähti tänne pelastamaan näitä sieluja. Why would I do that? Not respect you with your titles and name. I was raised by a priest of the temple. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't anger Grandmother Savisa like that. Next, we need to think of anything. We need to find the statues. There should be an altar in here that's used to locate statues in the folly. I uh kind of had to figure that out on my own since an acolyte of Lord Vivek was called away before he could tell me. 
but I ran into someone familiar with this area in Wretched Spire. The altar is farther in the folly, in a Daedric building. The altar! Place the Mother Stones there, and we'll be able to locate the statue. Rinnakin. Iso kiire koira. Se pitää olla vain harradaru Lordcraft. Bringing a book for travel is well worth the pack's face. Shame they're so heavy. Se ei oikee vakuuttava. Is Amalexia's power not compatible with the altar? Did Dagon figure out I'm not an evil cultist? Am I terrible at praying? Oh, yes. Here, let me mark the location for you. I may have obliterated one of the stones, but at least we have the information we need. Originally, there were three stones. One to free Ordinator Nelera, one to free Grandmother Sobisa, and the last one was supposed to take me back to Mornhold. Without that third stone, someone has to stay here. So be Sir Nilera or me. I can't believe it. Is that what you what the tribunal wants from me? Maybe it's better than letting two spirits stay in eternal agony, but so the seal I don't know if I can do that. Not even for Ordinator Nilera and Grandma Ordinator Nilera was the glaive of the tribunal. And after Merun's Dagon's attack, well, I don't know anyone who'd say she wasn't the greatest ordinator ever. Freeing her spirit from this place would bring peace to many. So Visa was my grandmother. She was kind and smart, the sort of person who always pushed you toward compassion. She was a priest at the temple, not a warrior. But she saved so many from Mayrun's Dagon's horde when they attacked Mournhold. Right? Uh, would you grab the Mother Stones? I don't think I should touch them anymore. Right? I have some control over my emotions. Let's get moving. Well, here we are. Can't put it off any longer. Time to make the difficult decision. Gods, I can't really damn myself to save them, can I? But then, how can I leave one of them here? Or, or we could free both, but then I'd be trapped. Oh, if I was better at magic, or even understood what Alma Alexia's mother's stones did, then... But no, there is no way to free both spirits and ensure my escape. I'm a failure. They'd leave their tortured undeath at the hands of the Prince of Chaos. But I'd be stuck here, alone. Still, I guess the spirits would be free, and I'd have done my duty to them and the tribunal. Okay, no, I don't think I'm I, I, you're right. Ordinator Nelera and Grandmother Savisa would never leave the helpless to suffer. I can do this. Let's free them. They are heroes in Mournhold. They protected the innocent, stood up for those who couldn't do it themselves, fought a gigantic four-armed prince of destruction, sacrificed their lives for others. I can't live up to them. The tribunal was poisoned just then, when Daegon summoned 
Moonholdia. Ja kukaan ei itse asiassa tässä vaiheessa tiedä edelleenkään, että kuka sen oikeasti kutsui sinne. Koska se piti olla joku voimakas kuolevainen. The tribunal, yourself included, kirjasarja antaa väittää, että se oli joku noita, mutta se on fiktiivinen kirjasarja, me ei oikeasti tiedetä. I... I am, aren't I? Are you saying that maybe it won't be that bad? I guess I have done a lot of things that I never thought I'd be able to do. Travel through the Deadlands, go on a quest with a living god. I can handle a little more time here. Ordinator Nelera. She defended the temple in Mournhold when Mayrunes Dagon attacked the city. My grandmother served the temple. When Ordinator Nelera died fighting Mayrunes Dagon, she rushed out. Ordinator Nelera. I can feel more hopeful even Peace now. Peace be free upon you and you. As I saved you, you saved me. You've grown so much. I can't leave her. You've done your duty by me, as I did mine by you. Work is done here. Let's leave before something horrible happens. I'll meet you outside. Seiso siinä, kun tulee alfa hyökkäys. Nää kuolee vähän helposti nää... ...tää kaatuu nää kumppanit. After Mayrun's Dagon cut them both down outside the temple and then trapped them in the sever, unable to move on, it, it was too long. Thank the three, and you, especially you, Magician. As far as I can tell, the Mother Stones worked. They worked, the spirits are free, and we're alive. I know that last bit was mostly your doing. Here, I can't say when I'll make it to Mournhold. This is all I can give to the tribunal now. All right, Benny. Now you just have to find a way off this plane. With its lightning strikes, monsters, and murderous bloodthirsty Daedra. No. Positive. You saved two spirits from the heart of the Deadlands. You're a hero. I'll make my way back to Mournhold. I'll only tell everyone as much as you want me to, of course. So the seal. I'm honestly still a little scared about how things turned out here, but I know I can push through that thanks to you. I don't know yet. I saw other mortals when I was in Wretched Spire, so there has to be other ways into this realm. I suppose I'll have to ask someone who's made the journey or find my own way back to Tamriel. It shouldn't be too hard, right? It's either that or get so scared that I can't move forward. Again. I just have to focus on making it back to Mournhold and stop being the swit that I am. Vec, yes. I don't want to be here any longer than I have to. Did you see that six-legged creature back there? That thing was terrifying. I am leaving this realm as soon as I can. Tän näyttää mustia haltioiden talolta. Why concern yourself with this? We can outlast the mortals. Hmm. Perhaps. But the chaos still threatens us. Hmm. What do you see, mortal? The Tremora shell on the ground? What does that matter? We don't die after all. Could bring chaos. 
disrupt the town's stability. Someone knew this and sent Tephalas back to oblivion. I need to know who. You can help. Wretched Spire hides Daedra. Can't get summoned while here. Uh huh. Like that. When Morn's one is gone, that won't happen. Tephalas seeks a treaty. Removing him delays that. The mortals may try to purge Daedra in his absence. If so, they'll die. We know not the source of the Spire's protection. Any change might end it, including mortal deaths. You are mortal. Save your people. Speak to them so I can find the one who seeks violence. If lives do not concern you, I can provide mortal coin. Several mortals stand about gawking. Two will tell what they saw. Wrote Zara speaks freely to anyone. And Tarvin on the hill, ally to Daedra. I'll take Tephalaz's shell to a necrologist in the Daedra area. Meet me there with what you learn. The Daedra of Wretched Spire prefer our unbound status. No masters, no summoners. We will stay under the protection this area provides, at any cost. Tephalaz spoke for us with the city's leaders. Treaty negotiations? Influence over city operations. Very smart that you recognize this. My answer is unsatisfying. Daedra do not want to change anything about Wretched Spire. The protection source remains unclear. The Spire? The people? Until we understand more, all must stay the same. Solitude. The constant disruptions of our existence by mortals anger us. An agreement would ensure we are left alone. You should understand. The mortals believe they allow us to stay. They cannot conceive that we <laughs> allow them to live. A researcher specializes in the empty shells Daedra leave behind. Their composition uses alchemy and magic to reveal secrets. He doesn't speak in the mortal tongue often, may confuse you. I'll need to interpret for him. A complicated place, even for a mortal town. It exists as a boil in the Deadlands, an infection that Meru's Dagon knows exists, but cannot heal. Okay, tämän takia Dagon on käskenyt, että tosta, tota ei saa, tosta ei saa kertoa. Did Mayroon's Dagon's arrival on your plane go unnoticed? Was his tearing a city from its roots a common event on Nern? I have never been there, so I do not know. A mortal summoned the prince. He ripped up the spire and flung it here. Good question. No one can say. I hear many theories, protected by a different prince. Saved for later. Dagon thinks it's funny. Nothing certain. Without an answer, we must maintain stasis. Nothing can change. I refuse to have a master. I reject my own. No one compels my allegiance while I stand within these walls. This arrangement suits me. When Tefalas began negotiations with the mortals, I offered him protection. As you can see, I failed. Tefalas makes his own choices. He is unbound, just as I am. If he wishes to walk without me, then so be it. I would not stop him, though obviously it was foolish. <laughs> Limited mortal philosophy. Can he force me to kill you if I did not wish? No. Can he embed thoughts in my mind, forcing me to worship him? No. Can he bring me to another plane against my will? Again? No. He is no master. Only a useful tool. Yo, down, 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 Marian. Down, Marian, tyyli rakennettu. Ja 
toi mua mietitty, toi näyttää ihan Mournholdin temppeliltä. Joten onko tää Mornholdin jäämistö? Tässä näin. Tribunaalin voimaa jonkin verran. Indorilla. Is this about Tefalas's death? Or I suppose not death. The Daedra tell me that is not really how it works with them. I imagine he will come back eventually. Do you know Noroth? The two of you spoke for some time, I saw. Again, not death. Displacement? The proper word for their unique situation eludes me. To answer your inquiry, no, I did not see what occurred. I was actually headed into the Daedric district to meet with Tefalaz when I stumbled on the scene. Tefalaz and I are friendly. As much as any Tremora has friends. I helped him gain the trust of the city council to begin treaty discussions. He just met with my father, Farvin, leader of the council. I wanted to know how the negotiations went. I saw you over there talking to Noroth, just like I watched you come into town for the first time. Nothing goes on around here without Rodzara noticing. Want to know what happened to that Dramora dead on the ground? How could I miss it? One moment he's walking along, the next he falls to the ground. Body shook a little, then nothing. I thought only a blade to the chest could kill them. Not that I care. You'll find no love for those things in my heart. No, not a soul. Neither person nor creature around him when it happened. But he was coming from the spire and going toward where the Daedra stay. Probably getting up to foul business. You know how they are. I keep my eyes on them. Seems to me that we should have handled it long ago. Daedra aren't meant to live among us. They have everywhere else they can go. Why do they insist on staying where I'm forced to see their strange ways? I say, gather everyone, kick them out. You're here. Ritual starts soon. Tell me what you learned. Agree. Remnant speaks to order backs. I mention a necrologist. Mix of necrologist. One. If the shell holds clues, he can find them. His ritual requires your aid. I promised you would give it. First, tell me what you learned. Did the mortals see what happened? <sighs> Magic from a distance then. I saw no scorching from fire. Cursed object, maybe? No, pockets were empty. Let's hope Mixotet reveals more. Why did he leave the Daedric area? He preferred not to upset the mortals. Makes sense. Would Favin attack him? Maybe. He resents all Daedra, but how? And why the delay? Still too many questions. Don't like it. Help Mixotet with the ritual. Claims the magic needs mortal hands. Promised me it won't hurt you. <laughs> Hyvä. By smoke and light, Mixotet will call for a reagent. Find it, throw it on the ashes. He will explain what he sees. I will translate for you. His speaking needs practice. Start with the dead Bankin. We can go from there. Redmond inside flames. Daitra patologia. Dust, 
more dancing in river. Feed the marrow. Poison flooded the shell, but from what? Last, the blue plant. Infinite thirst for prepared interest proposal. Turned advice says vanity in neutral. Misery wisdom arises to the spirit scream. Fragile tendrils allow connections to foregone, and until now, your efforts become necessary. Salvage physicality. Triangles examine interior hollows. Broken soul, limited cycle, grounded. No more understanding. Ancient folding across rivers. The track yet written beyond his general. Forfeit linear pointed strangers. Recommended blush of new. Floating beneath and above into similar plateaus. At juncture perform exaltation. Discreet. Yep. Tarvitsee kääntää. Shattered sky, ecstatic bloom. Abdomen exploration. In our trail. Ah, shard reveal. Poison beneath the skin. The entry point. We must talk. Lighted stump brings strange. Curious. A poison that affects Daedra. Hmm. This is new to me. We know more now. Not a random attack from a hater of Daedra. Someone able to apply this to Tevelaz. Got close. This was planned. First, I need this substance. Not to use. To examine. And maybe to use. <laughs> Depends on how events progress. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mixotet says he knows of it. On a fallen tree to the northwest. I would like you to collect some. Too dangerous for me. I will ask around about this poison. See if someone peddles it. Perhaps someone moving for power. Then I'll visit the last person Tevela spoke to. Faven Indoril. Meet me in the spire, center of town. Unlikely he reveals much without you there. Arrived when the spire fell. Mayrun's Dagon flung him here. Ah. Stater now. Leads the mortals council. Opposes Daedra residents. Possible suspect. Tefalaz explained the situation. We will not leave. If the mortals attempt to force us, they will die. Simple. Our existence can remain adversarial. Knives forever at our throats. Tension makes existence a burden, inefficient. Or it can be beneficial. They provide a seat on the council. We offer protection from the Deadlands' many threats. Who killers still consorts with mortals? And I see a blade bearer who could use a new perspective. You travel a strange path, Lyrinth. I won't ally with killers such as you. <laughs> I was not offering an alliance. Mortal, speak to Rinkaius. Tell him about burning Gyre Keep. Rinkaius dislikes mortals and isn't thrilled to see me. No matter. He has a keen mind. He will see the benefit of sharing information. Talk to him and tell him what we found in burning Gyre Keep. Niin, tämä viimeinen sen klaanista, niin, niin sillä on joku oma agenda, todennäköisesti kosto. Mortals in the Deadlands exist only at Mehrun's Dagon's sufferance. They grovel in his cult, toil as his slaves, or skulk and hide in places such as this, in the hope he will forget about them. Which are you? And why do you seek the Bladebearers? No Bladebearer would willingly enter a fortress loyal to Lord Dagon. I'm in search of my clan members who disappeared, however. You say you found one of our swords at Burning Jaya Keep. Yep. Tell me, what do you know of the Order of the Waking Flame? An audacious plan? Merun's Dagon has swallowed mortal realms before, or at least a portion of them. Such as this settlement you see before you. You are fortunate that their plan failed. What brings you to the Deadlands now? Think. 
If Dagon's servants struck down my kin to protect this device, I will punish them. But first, they must be found. My scouts followed rumors to Zynoes's jail and Jin's foundry before they vanished. I will begin there. You may accompany me. Jind is a Dramora kin marcher. She studies relics and devices. Zainawaz is Zivilai. He studies pain. <laughs> they are both subordinates of Valkanaz and Ofkroz, who ah, you say you encountered at Burning Gyre Keep. Yo. When Dagon's purposes interfere with our own, we gladly fight his minions. Prince Dagon knows this and welcomes it. We have met the Valkanaz in battle before. This business of mortal secrets and missing Dramora is new, however. The Bladebearers come to Wretched Spire every cycle. It provides a place to plot our next campaign against rival clans. When one of our war parties never arrived, I dispatched scouts to find it. They made one report. Then they too disappeared. Kinmacha Jind oversees a foundry in the Sever, not far from Wretched Spire. Zainawaz is a master of a jail in the burn, a place of suffering. My scouts reported that both seek information about mortal dealings, each in their own way. It is unusual for two high-ranking lieutenants of Arkanaz Novcross to suddenly concern themselves with mortals, yes. Novcross has nothing but contempt for your kind. Is that all? I grow impatient. Mm, interesting. You and Rinkaius can chase his missing blade bearers. I will return to Fargrave to sift for rumors about Sister Saldina or the Cataclyst. And perhaps see if the Anchorite has remembered anything new. I will find you when your work is done. The blade bearers are notoriously wary of outsiders. And they distrust kin who have more flexible views about honor and proper behavior than they do. I walk my own path. Some Dramora find that strange. Ask me if I care. As much as you trust me. If his blade bearers come to grief at the hands of the Dagonists or Valkanaz Nakfraz, then you share a common enemy. Remind him of that. A temporary alliance with the enemy of his enemy? That Renkaius can understand. News has a way of reaching the Nexus City. Perhaps someone knows more about the Cataclysts. Failing that, I intend to delve into the Anchorite's missing memories. Something about that doesn't sit right. She obviously knows more than she recalls. Dr. Guy. Mika, Drozu, stay vigilant. It's possible our clanmates will return while I am gone. Okei, Mirantin kirjan kirjoittama. Joo, sillä on oma kostonsa. Ja toi on tribunaalin temppeli. Nämä on kyllä kivasti pystynyt käyttämään vanhoja, vanhoja settejä tässä. Indorilit on voimakkaat tribunaalin kannattajat. Delightful. 
Another wanderer enters town seeking refuge. We just keep growing. I have no idea how we will sustain all you people. Wait, are you with this Daedra? You should speak to him then. Tell him to leave. I want nothing to do with him. This conversation goes as expected. Bavin has a simple mind. Surprise, Defalas hasn't killed him yet. The Blighted Tree, did you find it? A sample of poison may help us identify our target. Well done. Beginning to understand why mortals summon Minkin. Very useful to have an assistant. <laughs> a curious substance. If we find anyone else with it, we may have our target. Speak to Favin. You're a mortal. He may respond better to you. Ask about his conversation with Tefalaz. Get a sense of his plans. Important we delay a purge. At least until Tefalaz returns. <laughs> okay. So, so that's how that goes in by my... Another stray piece of refuse has stumbled into our town, I see. At least you're not a scamp or some other horrid creature. Well, welcome to Wretched Spire, apparent home to all of the Deadlands cast-offs. Why have you come? Now, you can't really kill those things, can you? They just keep coming back whether you want them here or not. But yes, I hear about everything that happens in Wretched Spire. Odd, I just spoke with him. Have you learned how he was... killed? What? You're investigating the death of a Dremora? Why bother? That creature will be back in a matter of days. Okay, then, bye, he came to push for the damn treaty of his. Wishes me to allow Daedra to reside here permanently. I refuse to allow it. No idea. However, Tefalaz seemed occupied with looking into a recent arrival to Wretched Spire. A shady character named Vontan. If you're so interested, talk to that scoundrel. He squats over with the other dangerous trash in the flea pits. Why? Do you know how I arrived in the Deadlands? Why I'm likely forced to live out my days surrounded by blight and storm? Are you so ignorant of the very place where you stand? Mehrun's fetching Dagon flung me here with half the city. Peace, fair. Daedra are single-minded creatures. They only strive for what their essence tells them to seek. They don't want peace with us. They only see a truce as a means to an end. What that that end is remains mysterious. So they shall have no treaty. Favin of House Indril. Though I don't know if that matters so much anymore. I lead this cast-off of a town. The task was much easier when we arrived. We were mostly Dunmer. They knew their place. Now, it's an assortment of adrift refuse. I came with the spire, crashed down after being ripped from my beloved Mornhold and flung into yeah, oblivion. Never really understood how I or any of us survived, but I stopped thinking about it. Newcomers tell me it was more than 600 years <laughs> yeah. ago on Nern. Only a few decades have passed for me. I can still remember en the feeling of my stomach that. dropping as we lifted into the air. Time flows differently in Oblivion's embrace. Viralinen vuosi pitäisi olla 582 toista aikaa. Ja sen viimeisenä vuotena tapahtui ensimmäistä aikaa tämä tapahtuma. Niin okei, okay. aika on mennyt vähän eteenpäin. Tarvin, yes. He introduced Tefalas to me. A good son, but one who needs to learn his history. He was born here and never saw Mornhold. He doesn't okay. understand what the Daedra truly are. I hope that he never needs to. Not enough, unfortunately. He appeared recently skulking around, trying to avoid being seen by decent people. He lives over in the flea pits, where we relegate those who won't stay safe. I should really clear out the flea pits. You... You need to tell them. Oh, damn. It, it hurts. Making flame on that.
Kenen ilmeisesti tappot on sitten. detained. Did you find Bomtan? What did you learn? Dead. Another murder. And this time, a mortal. So, the trail ends here. Waking flame. The mortal followers of Mayrun Stegan? Here? Could they seek to disrupt our protections? Hmm. We must speak to Faven. He needs to know about this threat. Lei Faven on niiden kanssa liitossa. The cult before they endanger our sanctity. Faven must know what you learned. I refuse to allow my protection to fall. And I doubt you want to see the mortals here endangered by this cult. We must return to Spire Hall. Not yet, but in time. These type of runes, not my specialty. Also, I am cut off from a great deal of knowledge. The price of freedom, father. You mean anger, upset? These aren't experiences that I have. My moods are set, fixed. I am who I am, who I will always be. Even my search for freedom from mastery is eternal. Living here, just a temporary success. First thought. Someone in town is secretly a member of this Order of the Waking Flame. And possibly someone who Tevelaz was in contact with. Otherwise, they would not have gotten close enough to administer the poison. Perhaps, but I think it unlikely. Vavin protects the town, claims it as his domain. Would never allow outsiders to take over. The mortal holds too much pride. And he hates Mayrun's Dagon. No sense to it. Hmm. Vaven now? I think spiral out of control. No. Uh -huh. mm. Once again, no struggle. Let's go to the boy. We should destroy that note. Faven planned to attack Daedra, attempt to push us out, and it would have failed. The mortals don't have the numbers, the strength, and we would just keep coming. Won't happen now, but we needed him to remove the waking flame. No leadership. Yes, they refer to a location, a kind of encrypted map, but also the key. The Waking Flames nearby camp indicates the cultists are about to make their move. I will try to rally the town, but I need you to go to the camp. Do what you can to stop them. The inscriptions describe an entrance to the southwest. It may be hidden, well guarded, but you seem capable. Find what you can that explains these events. Do your best to hinder the cult. I will seek to rally the town's residents, all of them.
Tää kikka me nähtiin jo Black, Blackwoodissa. Salaa ovia. You're chasing Tarvin? He ran toward the east. Chase Tarvin, Mofu. Very well. I shall follow. Don't you understand? I was helping them. The Daedra deserve a home. So, you figured it out. You know I killed them. Tefalaz, Vontan. Even my father. But you don't understand. How could you? The Daedra deserve their freedom. They're beings with souls just like you and I. And we should protect them. Welcome. I always fought for the Daedra. They just want a home. They belong here as much as we do. That group, they said they would help. Mortals on the side of Daedra they said that if I poisoned Tefalaz, it would spur the Daedra to action. Tefalaz will be back. But then you showed up. I had to kill Vontan to protect myself. And my father wrote that decree. It would have been a war. The mortals. We would have all died. I couldn't let that happen. I didn't want to kill him. But I had to. I... I know. I've done horrible things. How do I even begin to atone? But I'll go. No more running. A confession. Good. Makes things easy. Tarvin. Undermining our safety. Didn't see that possibility. Huh. I don't understand his thinking. Why help us? Why invite danger into his home? Mortal reasoning doesn't follow an obvious path. Daedra don't need help. I thought mortals viewed their own kind. I will take him back to town. We need to stabilize it. Make it the same as it was. Nothing must threaten my protection. You completed the task. Here's the payment. Two mortals dead, Tefalaz displaced, Tarvin racked by guilt and shame, too much disruption to the status quo. You did well. I do not believe in binding. <laughs> if I did, I would choose you. Mortal capability is best. <laughs> I wish. Richard Spire stays the same. Nothing changes. Nothing disrupted. 
Whatever power provides the protection for Daedra remains in place. We cannot bring back the mortals. A complication, then. But I will work to fix that. His father was leader. To keep the status quo, Tarvin must take up the position. My people will not care, and we can appease any mortals who speak out. Tarvin will see the wisdom and agree in time. Manipulable, that one. Tell Noroth I'll face whatever punishment the town devises. It will give the Daedra and the mortals something to work out. Together. Maybe in that way, something good can come out of all this. I really was just trying to help. Oblivion politics. 